There is a popular saying that there is no easy road to Arachuku owing to the deplorable condition of the road. This saying may become a saying of the past if this road is completed in record time. Governor Alex Oti at the flag of ceremony held at Old Soldier Junction, Ohafia, says the approval of the federal government was sought for the construction of the road. He appeals to the federal government to have a rethink on tolling the road to allow the people he a sigh of relief. What we have come today to do is to take our destiny in our hands, convinced that the federal government, whose approval we have fully obtained to execute this project, will eventually do what is right and fair in the long-term economic interest of the good people of Abia State. The suggestion by the federal government to toll the road at the end of the reconstruction may actually not be the best way of rewarding the faithful taxpayers in this community after what they have been through. I will again plead with the federal government to consider making the necessary financial provisions to eventually reimburse the state since we have taken the bull by the horn. The Transition Committee Chairman of half a local government area, David Owa, says the jinx is not only broken, but the road to Arrow will now be easily accessible. The road to Arrow is now a road of ease, access, and advancement. The Commissioner for Works notes that the reconstruction will mark a massive development to the region. This project is essentially not only concerned the road but we will also revitalize the communities along the corridor. We will create a safer, smoother, more attractive road that will significantly reduce journey stress on the road users. Tractor handling the project says the company will deliver the road in record time and according to specifications. It has made sure that it has provided us with every single thing that will make this road come to land. For these stakeholders in Nohafia Arachuku Federal Constituency, the reconstruction of the road couldn't have come at a better time than this. Very big relief for me, seeing that the, our amiable governor has come to rescue us. Under this deplorable condition, it affects commerce, it affects agriculture, it affects movement of produce from one community to the other. But now, after the reconstruction of the road, business will be, it will be easier to move agricultural products. Some locals speak to Arise News. And the and the other communities will begin. This road and the communities are agricultural producing communities. This road will have get a very big uh, benefit because I'm just telling you, since after the war, we have never enjoyed this road. The 44.1 kilometer road has a completion period of 18 months. For more than three decades, the people of Arochuku or Havia, local government area, have cried out to both the federal and state governments to come to their rescue, as this road has remained in a very deplorable condition and a death trap to not force motorists to the rest of the of this area. It is expected that with this flag off, the right thing will be done and at the right time too, from Havia, Nora. Uh, for news.